This is example 3.18 on page 119 of our textbook. Um, and this is another example of obtaining an empirical formula from experimental data. Um, so in this case, instead of being given gram amounts, we're given percentages. So it says lab analysis of aspirin determines the following mass percent composition. Carbon is 60%, hydrogen is 4.48%, and oxygen is 35.52%. So if you're given percentages instead of mass amounts, we can just assume that we're given 100 gram samples um, and we can just translate these percentages into grams. So 60% carbon becomes 60 grams of carbon, hydrogen becomes 4.48 grams, and oxygen becomes 35.52 grams. So like our last problem, the first step in solving these types of problems is to convert gram amounts to mole amounts. So if we have 60 grams of carbon, we need to divide by its molar mass, 12.01 grams in one mole, and that's going to give me moles of carbon. Hydrogen would be 4.48 grams, and divide by molar mass, 1.08 grams in one mole, and then oxygen would be 35.52 grams. And if we divide by its molar mass, 16 grams in one mole. So if you perform each of those calculations for carbon, you're going to get 4.996 moles. For hydrogen, you're going to get 4.44 moles. And for oxygen, you're going to get 2.220 moles. So now we can write our pseudo formula C subscript 4.996 H subscript 4.44 O subscript 2.22 and now we take each of these numbers and divide by the smallest. So my smallest number is 2.22 so I'm going to divide oxygen by that number, I'm going to divide hydrogen by that number, and I'm going to divide carbon by that number. And that's going to give you C 2.25 H2 and then oxygen with an understood 1. So remember our goal is to get small whole numbers. We don't have complete whole numbers here. We just have hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon 2.25, that's not close enough to a whole number to round. <coughs> so we can do like last problem, start by multiplying by two, see if that gives us whole numbers, three, four, so on. Or you could use a um, little cheat sheet on page 119. Um, it's in the bottom left hand corner. It shows you that whatever your decimal is um, can kind of give you a clue as to what you should multiply your numbers by. So since carbon ends in 0.25, if we multiply all of these numbers by 4, that should give us um, whole number ratios. So let's try multiplying everything by 4. So carbon 2.25 times 4 gives you C9. H2 times 4 gives you H8. And oxygen 1 times 4 gives you O4. And all of those are whole numbers. So C9 H8 O4 is your empirical formula for aspirin. And that's how you solve one of these with experimental data that's in the form of percentages. Pretty much exactly the same way, you just translate the percentages to gram amounts.